Bonjour. So today we're going to go over our writing system. I realize that we never did make a video on this. Um, so what I'll go over first is the letters that are not in Potawatomi in this writing system. So in this writing system we do not have C's because it falls under a different thing that I'll show you here in a minute. In Potawatomi there are no F's. The J follows under the TH sound. Um, there's no L's, there's no Q's, there's no R, U, V, or X. So all of these do not exist in our, in our language. Um, these two come up under a different, a different writing way, or a different way of writing. So what we'll go over first is the E's over here. So the, the reason this writing system was developed is that so you can pick up any word and if you know the writing system, you'll be able to say it spot on. And so this is why we have five different E's because that E makes five different sounds depending on what it's around and what's next to it. So the first E we have on here is just a blank E. There's nothing on it. And so if you say invisible, This is the sound that E makes, it, it. Imagine there's no mark above it, the mark is invisible. So it, it. The next E it has one dot above it. So if you imagine that dot is a speck, the E in speck is this sound, eh, eh, eh as in speck. Now below that, we have an E with a slash above it. it sounds just like that, that word there. Slash. Ah. Ah. Ah as in slash. The next E we have on here is one with two dots above it. So if you imagine those dots as bumps, that is that sound. Two dots make the uh sound. And the last E, if you imagine a book that is upside down, that book is kind of like this. Uh. Uh, as in book. Uh. So we have I as in visible. We have E eh as in spec. We have A. Eh as in slash, we have a uh, as in bumps, and we have uh as in book. Those are our E sounds. Now going over to the other side here, we have letter A. Anytime you see that letter, it's going to be ah as in father. Ah. Ah. It will not make any other sound. Ah. Whenever you see an I, it's going to be pronounced E, like in Kiwi, E, E. When you see an O, it will always be a hard O sound, like in Go, Go, O. Now, mention a second. TH. It does not make the th sound. TH is the j sound. J. That's the J. J. And the last one that we have on here is the TTH. That is your ch sound. Ch. Your CH. Ch. TTH. So our word for thank you is miigwech. So the way that, the, that we write that is miigwech, miigwech. The e and the ch. 
so on. Another thing that I didn't write up here is the letter G. The letter G will never sound like the word giant. It will always be a hard G sound. It is a G. 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 So now we'll go through and we say these things. I. E, a. A. U. I. sounds in Potawatomi. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back with you. Well, I'm off you.